foundation that lasts as long as you do. Is that an innuendo? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. <sighs> I had one big weekend, my friends. Oh my gosh. It's 6.55 a.m. right now. Am I registered for this class? Hang on. Last week's weekly vlog is a mess, I think. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'll have to look at it today and like edit it a bit. So that's gonna be basically my task for Monday morning. I was gonna go at 9.15 today to the gym, but I just thought, what am I doing? I wanted to start off on a good note, like earlier in the day, just cause sometimes when I start at 9.15, unless I have to, have to, I don't know, it pushes back my day and I don't have as much time. Yeah, I had a very big weekend. I had a 22nd birthday in the city. Um, I wasn't hungry over but i got home as the sun was rising which is <laughs> unheard of for me the sun was rising it was like 5 a.m i need to get going but surprisingly i wasn't too tired it really hit me at about 5 p.m it was so weird and then i went to bed at like 8 30 and now here i am monday morning but yeah i'm at f45 i've got on an amen crop and the cara lee leggings that i got in my last which you guys would have actually not have seen i need to show you anyway i will chat to you guys after today is called bears which i don't really know what it is but we'll see <laughs> Alrighty, so good session. Oh my god, turn the air conditioning up now. Okay, if you don't like hearing about calories burnt, skip over this part. But for those of you who do, we did, that was a very good session. Like hard, but not like so hard where I literally want to die. It's always around the same number. 40 minutes, 233 active, 278 total calories. I was going to go to Aldi, but I have a feeling they're not open yet. Check Aldi. Yes. They open at 8.30, so I'm going to leave it for now. I might go this afternoon. Um, maybe after I finish editing for the day, I'll come and get some, just a couple pieces, stock up on some cucumbers and everything. But I'm going to go home, wash my hair, get stuck into finishing up the weekly vlog. And then, by the way, wearing a hat in F45 is the best thing ever because I don't have to pin my, pin my fringe back. If I'm in a rush, like, I can just pop it back in the hat and it stays out of my face. Granted, it still gets real sweaty and stuff, but you win some, you lose some, so let's go home. guys happy tuesday it is 7 51 a.m and i've just been doing some computer work i've had so much coffee this morning <laughs> i think i've had like three shots mm. i was gonna go to the gym at seven today but i was just like i literally woke up in the middle of the night and i was like i'm gonna go in the afternoon today just because i want to shoot some content this morning even though i would be finished the gym by now and like on my way home but i just wanted to get some work done and just go in the afternoon so yeah, I've just been doing that. I think I'm gonna go make some pancakes for breakfast. I'm still trying to perfect like my protein pancake recipe and then it 
10 a.m. I've got a meeting with my manager. Yeah, I think today will just be a very like content heavy day. Hopefully I get some stuff done. Right, what else is on the agenda? On Thursday, I also have a meeting with my broker. But yeah, it's a really nice day today. I also want to go for a walk at some point, maybe, maybe this afternoon, we'll see. I have a feeling too, I need to go buy some like banana. Yeah. The protein pancakes don't work very well with banana, like frozen banana, not banana, frozen banana. They don't work when the banana is like frozen. Is that my brother? Yes, he's gonna park straight behind me. Great. Oh, now I'm like, do I go out and buy banana? <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm gonna have savory then. Damn it. Had notice you wanna say so. Hello, okay, so oh I've got you on a bit of a turntable here. To, okay, so I've had my lunch. I've waved my hair because the other day I got the is this hot still? A little bit. I got the Bondi Boost Wave Wand in the mail the other day. So I tried it out for the first time. And I really like the results. Very beachy, boho, very nice. I do like it. Just having a cup of tea. I just made a reel of my lunch that I'm probably gonna delete. <laughs> Cause I feel like it sucks so badly. It was so spontaneous. It's so bad. I'm gonna do a bit of a PR haul right now because quite a few things to share with you that I got in the mail. Also this thumb like split in half. So I just cut it short. So we're, that's what we're looking like at the moment. But it's 142. Um, I'm gonna show you this PR. Then I think I'm gonna duck into the supermarket maybe grab a few pieces. I really need to get some coat hangers cause I've run out. Out and like my actually that's probably what I should do I need to like declutter my wardrobe or at least like fold things and make it accessible because it's not accessible at the moment so we've got a lot of makeup and clothing to share with you I mean first things first I got the wave wand look at the size of that thing it's once you get the hang of it though it's really easy to use let me know if you want to see like me use it on my Instagram or something starting off with this package here I have seen these guys on TikTok they're called um like my glow too and if you guys know me i am a fake tanner i tan every single week i wash it off on wednesday and then i tan on a thursday that is my routine i stick to it like there's no tomorrow oh this is a bit cute this is a like tanning exfoliating mitt but if you go to their tiktok or their instagram it looks incredible because it like the dry skin comes off so i'm very excited to test it on tuesday test it out tomorrow they've said oh handwritten notes just get me in the feels it says dear connor with a heart full of gratitude we invite you to experience our unique it has been a crazy year and with your house under construction we hope this allows you to take the time to reconnect with yourself Oh, much love, Liv and Katie, my glow to founders. Oh, I get it now. My glow to, my go to. I'm an idiot. Oh, thank you so much. That's so beautiful. And they've also included rose quartz. Oh my gosh. This is my, oh my God. Yes. This is going to attract my new boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. A rose quartz. I'm going to put that. Where am I supposed to, am I meant to put it somewhere specific? Let the stone of love fitting let the stone of love be a reminder that today was the day you fall in love with the process of becoming the best version of yourself facts keep your rose quartz somewhere safe in your bathroom as you exfoliate and allow it to release all that is not serving your higher purpose so beautiful i'm gonna put that by my bedside table because it's so pretty gosh this is just too cute <gasps> stop there's more why am i getting more excited about like the stones okay so this is the love and heal mini crystal kit so we've got some little I nearly dropped that on my tea. This is what the packaging looks like. It's not just for exfoliating tan, like it's meant for just exfoliating your skin in general. So, oh my God, there's another stone. Ooh, very interesting. I've seen it on like TikTok, like I've said, but I, interesting. I'm so excited to try this. It almost, let me read what the actual fabric is. So it's a cellulite, stretch marks, blackheads, tan removal, dry skin. Step one, for first time use, hand wash thoroughly with hot water. Soften your beautiful skin by taking a hot steamy shower or bath for five to 10 minutes. Okay. The softer you are, the more you peel. Wet the gloves, squeeze out any excess water and place your hand inside and then exfoliate basically. Do not use soap or oils. Interesting. I'm very excited to use this. It's 100% pure silk. Handmade natural exfoliating glove. Yeah, that is nothing like any other exfoliating mint I've ever felt before. So very excited. All right. I got in a package from Ola Henriksen. I've heard really good things and particularly these products. So this is their prep party juice makeup prep set. 
I've heard really good things about the Banana Bright Face Primer. This is so cute. It's like a little milk carton. Um, and I've also heard really good things about the Banana Bright Eye Cream. So very keen to test that out. And they sent along a little bag as well. So that's from their Holiday 2020 collection. Very nice. Then I got in a beautiful package from Laura Mercier, which is Christmas themed. And just as an FYI, I'm going to be putting up my tree on the 1st of November. I don't care what anyone says. It's happening because in my family, we take our Christmas tree down on the 1st of January. So I want to get as much happiness and joy out of the tree as possible. So I'm going to put it up on the 1st of November because that gives me two months of joy. I'm very excited to put up the tree, which is like very quite soon. Today's the 20th. It's going up soon. It's Halloween. And then all of a sudden it's going to be like, Christmas. So this is like Christmas themed, which is so cute. So I'll definitely be giving these to some friends and family. So first up, look how pretty. I love like holiday packaging. It's, <gasps> no, it opens like that, doesn't it? Oh my God, stop, look at it. So it opens up, my nails match. So they're kind of like shimmer shadow sticks, but obviously minis, very, very cute. Then we have, a sweeping beauty brush kit you know and like some packaging is just so luxe i've never used any like high-end brushes like i usually just use like morphe or actually no, that's a lie i've used sigma that's pretty high end oh they're mini that's so cute but i've never used like you know beauty brushes Come on. my mum, her makeup brushes are like i don't think she's ever washed them in her whole life so these are so adorable i can't believe it's gonna be christmas soon like and because we don't really celebrate halloween in australia like it's not really like it is a thing but it's not a thing not to the extent that it is in other countries i'm just very excited then we have their set to perfect translucent loose setting powder and puff duo this is like pretty packaging yeah so it's like their translucent setting powder oh my tan need my my glow too so beautiful got this little bad boy Raise home. <laughs> We've got the Laura Mercier Opening Night Cheek Palette. Oh, look at that packaging. It's so pretty. Oof, those are what the colors look like. Oh, that blush is calling my name. That's stunning. Very, very pretty. Okay, that is everything from that Laura Mercier package. Thank you so much. And they also sent Christmas cards. I love, I love. Then I also got in a package from Rimmel and they were so kind to send, I don't know, is this, I'm assuming it's new, our number one skincare inspired foundation that lasts as long as you do. Is that an innuendo? Surely not. <laughs> the word hydration is in this, which makes me excited. They've sent every shade of their foundation. So I'm gonna be calling up everyone I know and saying, hey, would you like a foundation? Because I've got all the colors. Full coverage and transfer proof. Hyaluronic acid and vitamin E for an instant boost of hydration. Retails for $18.95. Thank you, Rimmel. I got in those Carly leggings that are actually, I washed them, but they're probably dry by now, so I'll go grab those. And then I also got some active wear from Stax and Amen. Okay, so these are the leggings. This is in their nearly nude fabric. Guys, Cara Lee leggings are incredible. They're very like Lululemon-esque fabric, but like swimwear fabric at the same time. So comfortable and very, very flattering. So these are like full length on me. They're very, very long on my five foot self. So beautiful. I wear an extra small. And then I also have their like nearly nude sports bra. Also an extra small because I don't have any like white sports bras. I do now, I have two. I have this one and one from Eamon that's hanging on the line. We also got in some goodies from Eamon. You guys know my favorite activewear brands are Stax, Gymshark, Eamon, and Carly Collective. Those are my favorites. I got some midi biker shorts from Eamon. These are in like their espresso color. These are also in an extra small. The Eamon fabric is so unique. I think that's why I like each of the brands for different reasons because they each have their own uniqueness about them. Also, I have a discount code for all of the brands that I just said. They'll be in the description box down below. I'm not gonna like list them off now, but if you are interested in checking any of them out, so we've got these ones in espresso. Also good to keep these for like traveling and stuff, even though we're not doing travel at the moment, but you know what I mean. I think this is their high support bra. Yes, I love their high support bras. It's like the perfect amount of support for me. Hence the name high support. Because I have fake boobs, I do have the luxury of like not needing too much support. Like I can get away with less, but I still need something to like strap them down, you know? So I love these. I actually might wear this today to the gym. I also got that bra in white. It's hanging on the line. 
because I wore it the other day. And then I also picked up some of their classic bike shorts um, in black. Then I got some of the M Daily Stux collection that's launching on Friday. So by the time you see this vlog, it'll already be up. So cool. Okay, this is very like, hello. <laughs> This is very like athleisure wear. Like I feel like you could totally wear this as outfits and you would be fine. Even though you can wear active wear anyway. But so this is the first one. I wear an extra small in Stax stuff. Oh, this is so cool. That's what that looks like. Very nice. M Davies, her style is just so elite. I love it. So these have like a drawstring on them, which I don't know how I feel about. I'm gonna be real. I don't like, I'll have to see what they look like on. So these are, they've got kind of like that waistband that says stacks. Again, extra small. These are in a pink shade. They also came out with like bucket hats and stuff, which I thought looked sick. Um, I don't have any of those to show you, but they look so cool. Gosh, I've been filming for 20 minutes. Bloody hell. And then we've got a little like zip up crop, which looks really cool. I do love a good zip up moment. Um, I think that's everything that I got. I think I'm just going to do some editing. I need to clean up. I might go to Kmart like before going to the gym. So just kind of like kill two birds with one stone. But yeah, I'll chat to you guys later. Hello guys. It is currently 4.26 p.m. I have come to the gym. It feels so weird to be here in the afternoon. Like I'm definitely a morning workout gal. I'm going to head in now and then I'll chat to you guys after. <laughs> That was a good session. I'm gonna not go to Kmart. I can't be bothered or Audi. I'm just like, it can wait. I'm gonna put on my crime junkie podcast. Yes. I really need to pee, so I need to get home. What? Are, oh, that's right. I did a chin up for the first time. An unassisted chin up. How good. It wasn't the best like form and stuff. When I did gymnastics, I used to be able to do chin ups like there was just no tomorrow. Like it was so, so easy for me. Granted, I was 11. Crime doggy time. I just finished good morning happy Wednesday guys I just finished up at the gym sweaty my hair looks like that I, the whole time very nice session indeed great way to start my Wednesday morning all right I'm gonna pop in Kmart because I need to get some coat hangers and some like storage bins because I need to kind of organize my wardrobe today I think that's gonna be one of my tasks because it's giving me anxiety I'm genuinely anxious about it. So we're gonna go do that. Do I get pink? Or do I get one of these? Decisions. Because I think these ones are gonna be too small. Those ones are just, they might be a bit big. Like I like these, I just wish they had them in white. Or do I get pink? Okay, so I ended up getting three of these ones, two coat hangers, and I got these nails. I feel like I can put a top coat over this and it'll make them look a lot better and I'll shave them to not be that shape. We'll see. Okay, so welcome to my bedroom. This is the state of my current situation. These are just full, like 
so full. My wardrobe is also so full. I can't really get to anything. It's kind of color coded, but not really. Um, I've got like a rack here and then this. I've got so much active wear, which I am eternally grateful for. Like, don't get me wrong. I never want to come across as being ungrateful, but I got three of those. I got some more coat hangers. I think I'm going to start with these just to like sort out the situation. So I think I might do a time lapse. We shall see, my camera might die. Pop on some music. Okay, good morning. Wow, I look <laughs> happy Thursday. I just got done at the gym. That was a really good session. I it is 7.45 a.m. right now. Let me just end my workout. Right, so it is such a day today. It's just gloom and doom. So I'm gonna put Christmas music on, you know what? I'm gonna head home now. I'll probably have a smart protein bar when I get back just because at 8.30ish, I'm gonna leave to go for a meeting with my broker. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I'm in a very good mood this morning. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Don't question it, Connor. Just having some oxy shred. There's a dude staring right at me, so. I have a headband on today, um, and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know whether I look like an absolute wanker or not. I mean, very practical for the gym, but it's kind of cute. I don't know. Um, I've got on a Gymshark set today. That's super cute. I, I did my mum's makeup because she's got like a wedding to go to this afternoon. So I woke up at like 5.30 to do that for her. I mean, lately I have been waking up pretty darn early because the sun rises so much earlier now because we're getting into some summer. So I've literally been getting up at like 5.30 every morning and I love it. And then I just kind of chilled out, did some work, and now here we are at the gym. And then after the gym, I'm gonna go to Aldi because we need some more frozen cauliflower. My dumb ass. I uploaded my like protein pancake recipe a couple days ago and I put like a screenshot of like the ingredients written out. The most important ingredient is probably banana and I didn't include it. And then a lovely girl DM'd me after I uploaded me like demonstrating how I make them. And she was like, oh, did you not include banana? Or like, did you forget to include banana in the recipe? And I looked back and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> People have probably tried to make these without banana and been like, what the f is this girl on? They don't taste great at all. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yesterday I felt really, really tired. I've actually made a doctor's appointment on Saturday just to ask her like, hey, am I all right? You know, like, like get my bloods done and just get everything checked because there's no harm in doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. And then this week's gone so fast. But yeah, yesterday I did some filming. Today I'll probably do some filming because I have to go pick up a parcel from the post office. I'm doing like a White Fox boutique haul, which I'm very excited for. So yeah, that's my day. And then who knows what I'm getting up to this weekend. Probably nothing exciting, to be honest.
Okay, wow, I look a bit gross. Rightio, friends, Um, it's currently like 1 p.m. Don't know where the day went. I'm gonna pop on some makeup because I'm gonna film. I'm gonna use the Enco Beauty Hydrating Face Primer real quick. Let's see if we can do this makeup fast. And I made myself my third copy of the day. I think I'm gonna go in with the Enco Beauty Foundation. It's so beautiful. This color is just like probably a little bit too light for me at the moment because my tan's quite dark. So I'm gonna mix in dark foundation. I'm gonna do two pumps of that. Then I'm gonna do some of this Light Illusion Foundation. Tawny M4 and then the Enco Beauty one is in the shade Natural Beige. Is that the Postman? I think it might be. No, it's not, it's my brother. <laughs> Go in with some concealer. This is gonna look very bright. I am so flipping excited for Ariana Grande's new album to come out. Like, she's probably my favorite artist. Thank you, next album, iconic. My top artist last year for like the Spotify roundup was Ariana Grande. Interesting to see. Break up with your girlfriend um because I'm bored is like my jam. It's like my favorite song ever. <laughs> I just got foundation on my shirt and I'm filming with this. I'm the worst person when it comes to spilling stuff on myself. Bloody hell, Connor. You're honestly just pathetic. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I'm just filming like clips for my uh, White Fox haul that I'm doing. Ariana Grande's new album is out. I was literally just saying that before. I want to like try and get my reaction to like listening to it. Obviously, I can't play some of it. Oh, my god. oh wait, the song Positions is out. Okay, so it's not the album. Good morning guys, happy Saturday, 9.44 a.m. And I have come to the doctors, just like I said yesterday, just to get myself checked out basically. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I think I'm gonna go meet my mum for coffee afterwards. So I'm like right on time, my appointment's at 10. I'm gonna go inside and chat to you. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Um, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. Like I don't even think I'm gonna include it in this video because I was just like, hey, I'm going to the doctor. That was it basically. At the moment it's 9.15 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm about to go to the shops just to grab Grab some bits and pieces. I want to get some like groceries and I also want to get my ears pierced. It's super random. I have like always wanted piercings or like lots of piercings in my ears, but I've never done it. So yesterday Freya came home with like some new piercings and I was like, why don't I just go tomorrow and just do it? I'm just going to go to Lovisa. I know in the world of like piercing and how you're meant to do it, especially when it comes to like cartilage and stuff, I know using like a gun and everything is not the way you're meant to do it. I know that. I want to get some more pizza bases from Woolies, some frozen cauliflower, my diet essentials. Might want to go to Cotton On Body and get some new like seamless G-strings, just little bits and pieces you know so I woke up at like 6 a.m and I was wide awake straight away Saturday I woke up at like 8 a.m which is very late for me so I don't know I feel like I've been awake for hours and to be honest I'm feeling a little bit down today like I can feel my emotions I'm just feeling a bit lonely to be honest I'm a very independent person and I love doing things on my own um however I definitely do love being around other people and I love like hanging out with others but and I know these like emotions come and go all the time like I'm not looking too hard into it but just sometimes it just gets you down a little bit. Being single has its pros and its cons. Definitely one of the cons is loneliness. But I do think it's super important to feel comfortable on your own and enjoy your own company, which I definitely do. Like I said, I just feel a bit lonely today. So. The dress that I'm wearing is from Princess Polly. I've had it for ages. It's like one of my favorite little summer dresses. By the way, this necklace that I'm wearing that says Connor is from um, House of LX. It's, they're quite cool. It's like personalized. I feel like I want to find a podcast that's like uplifting or something, but take my own advice and don't rely on other people to do the things that you want to do. I want to go to the shops today. I want to get my ears pierced. I want to just do that. And I don't have anyone to do it with at the moment. So I'm just going to go on my own. And there's nothing wrong with that outfit. So yeah, this dress is from Princess Polly. Not sure what it's called. I don't know the size, but it's just like a perfect little, not oversized, but like flowy dress. Just perfect. These are my favorite things to like shop in. Got white socks, white sneakers. Very white look today, white apple band. Let's get going, shall we?
Cause I really want you in my space Picking up every call I'm falling all my money's on you I never knew I needed love Needed love Needed love Okay, it's quite hot at the moment This lighting is terrible Okay, I just got in the car um, I'm about to leave uh, I just was like wandering around in my own little world then And I feel like I was literally in there for three hours And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, have I been here for more than three hours Because then I have to pay for parking or whatever My ticket says I came in at 10.10 So that was about two hours, I guess Which I don't know if that's long or not But I am so obsessed with the earrings, guys And I know I'm going to get so many comments saying how terrible I am for using a gun I know I freaking love them. I got four piercings in one go. So yeah, I got, that's what they look like in the light. It's a bit sore. I decided to get, I know that the cartilage ones are gonna be a bit hairy to heal, I'm aware. So I thought instead of getting like one on one ear, one on the other ear, I should get them just both on one. So then I can like sleep on one side if they are really sore. Um, and I like the two. Oh, I'm obsessed. I can feel myself about to get addicted to getting piercings now. It really is true when they say like, oh, if you're having a bad day, just go get a piercing. Or I have people like, we'll go get a tattoo, um, which I actually have been thinking about getting a tattoo lately. So who knows? Am I having a midlife crisis? But I'm so obsessed. And they weren't that painful, the cartilage ones. Like they definitely hurt, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But, um, and then yeah, I went, ended up going to Woolies. Everywhere I went was sold out of like seamless G-strings. Everywhere. It. Are they beeping at me? But literally everywhere I went was sold out of seamless g-strings. I went to Cotton On Body, came up, Big W and Target and they were all sold out of like my size and everything. Oh my god, it's pouring with rain. What the hell? Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a fail. I might have to just like order them online or something. But okay, that explains why it's so muggy. It's pouring with rain right now. Alright, but yeah, um, I'm excited about my new piercings. Holy it's literally bucketing down. It's weird because I've been inside for like two hours, so I don't really know. Like, I'm gonna pop on. I've been listening to Sophia and Chincia's podcast, The Girls' Bathroom, which is a very good podcast. It's very just like girl talk, boy talk, that type of thing. Feel good stuff, you know? I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends. And I think I'm gonna make pizza for, I was gonna say pizza for breakfast. Pizza for lunch, because by the time I get home, it'll be lunchtime. I'll probably chill out because if it's weather's like this, I'm gonna be watching some Dexter. <laughs> Oh my god guys, it's now 1.54 p.m. I kept hearing these noises and I was like, what the heck is happening? I look out the window, it's f***ing hailing. And Bonnie's really distressed, my dog. Oh, I look stunning, look. And my parents just left to go to the shops and they've just come back, obviously, because they don't want to drive in the hail. It's kind of stopped hailing now, but now it's just bucketing down. It hasn't hailed in ages, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, that is all oh, very bright. That is the end of the weekly vlog as per usual. I forgot to end it off. I'm just editing it right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. These are what my piercings look like the next day. I'm so obsessed with them. I love them. Um, I was talking about this with Frey yesterday. Hang on. I don't have an earlobe. It like goes straight into my jaw. If that even makes sense. Like you can see. Like I don't. Like most people have an earlobe that attach. Like that's detached which is actually classed as a recessive feature which i remember learning about this in like science how like you know there are certain features that are like more common or more dominant than others like brown eyes are more dominant than like green blue etc but comment down below do you have attached earlobes because i do like most people have nice earlobes whereas mine are tiny yeah so that's what they look like i think i might want to get like two close to each other up the top. I'm gonna wait for these to heal more so I can like lie on them more when I sleep. Um, but they're not too sore. Like I just wanna decorate my ears now. But yeah, that is the end of this weekly vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We're almost at 60K. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.